Welcome everyone. When I tilt my iPhone, I get that 3D spatial effect to my wallpaper. It looks pretty cool. If you want to set this yourself, the first step is from your home screen. I want you to swipe down from the very top. So swipe down from the top middle, just like that. From here, you go into a long press on the empty space of your lock screen. Then you can either tap customize if you've already set, you know, a picture wallpaper, or you want to customize that wallpaper. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the plus to create a new wallpaper. Then I'm going to select photos. And you don't just have to choose a selfie or picture of you. You can really choose anything that has a foreground and a background. So I am just going to select me. This is a selfie I just took. And by default, I'm tilting the phone and nothing is happening. So I'm going to real quick do this on two separate iPhones and I want you to watch very closely. So my iPhone on the left has this little icon, but my iPhone on the right does not have that icon and those pictures look the same. So assuming we are on iOS 26 annual, which is where this feature comes from. If you have this icon, just tap on it. This is the spatial scene effect. And when you tilt the phone, it separates the foreground from the background and gives you that 3D image. The first reason why you might not have that icon is because iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, any device with the A13 processor in it does not support this feature. iPhone 12 and newer is required. So iPhone 11, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to use that 3D spatial audio feature unless I upgrade from iPhone 11 to a newer model. Now, if you have iPhone 11 and uh, if you have iPhone 12 and newer, you've updated your software and this option still isn't showing, then sometimes if you have set a wallpaper on an older version of iOS, let's say you set this wallpaper on iOS 18 and you update to iOS 26, then it might not give you this spatial picture option. And if it doesn't, the solution is you just create a new wallpaper like this and then you just select that same photo from earlier. It should work. I mean, most photos work. I mean, check this picture out. Even this picture, I have the spatial scene option and it does actually work. So most pictures are supported. And then once you have done that, you'll be good to go. Now, these days, YouTube are not promoting my videos like they used to. So if this video did help you out and you want to help support me, it would really mean the world if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video useful. Thank you. Or if you didn't find this video useful, leave a comment. Why do you need help? If you need help, leave a comment and I will try and get back to you. With that being said, have a nice rest of your day. Bye bye.